हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इंट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल बाय सब्सक्राइबिंग यू विल गेट एक्सेस टू न्यू वीडियोज एज सुन एज दे आर अपलोडेड एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट वे टू स्टे अप टू डेट विद माई कंटेंट एंड सपोर्ट मी एट द सेम टाइम Today I am going to show you how to update a Windows 10 device to Windows 11 23H2 using a feature update policy. We have to ensure that all the prerequisites are in place such as the required policy created and deployed from Intune and the targeted device is capable of running Windows 11. Now let's see how we can upgrade a Windows 10 device to Windows 11 device. So the very first step is to ensure that the we have the required policy deployed on the device. The very first policy is the telemetry data should be enabled and the minimum setting should be set to required. And the second one is to enable the Windows Health Monitoring policy. And we have to select the Windows Update scopes to get detailed device status and errors. So let's see how we can set up these two policies first. Now first let's see how we can configure the telemetry data. So to configure the telemetry data we have to go to the devices and within devices we have to go to the configuration profiles and we have to create a profile and the platform type should be windows 10 and later and the profile type should be template and within that we have to select the device restriction profile and we have to click on create now we here we have to provide the name of the policy so i'm going to provide the configure telemetry data and then click on next now we have to configure the settings so i'm interested to configure the reporting and telemetry settings and we have to configure the share users data setting under this the minimum required setting is required but i am okay with enhance because i am trying to upgrade my windows 10 which is already on 1903 or above version so i'm on i'm going to click on enhance 1903 earlier and then click on next and then we have to deploy to the required devices so i'm going to deploy to all the devices and then click on next and then click on next and then create now configure telemetry data policies created and deployed to all the required devices now we have to enable the windows health monitoring policy and select the windows updated scope to get detailed device status as well as the error and to do this we have to create another policy and under platform we have to select the windows 10 and later and profile type should be template and within that we have to go to windows health monitoring and we have to click on create here we have to provide the name of the policy so i am i am going to provide enable windows health monitoring and then click on next now we have to select the health monitoring i am going to enable it and the scope should be windows update then click on next and then deploy to all the scope devices for now i am going to deploy to all devices and then click on next and then click on next and then create now enable windows health monitoring policy is also created and deployed to all the required devices now let's see how we can create a feature upgrade policy to upgrade windows 10 to windows 11 Now next step is to create a feature update for Windows 10 and later policy to upgrade a device from Windows 10 to Windows 11 23H2 but before that we have to ensure that under the updating policy the feature update default period must be set to 0 so we have to go to the update ring for Windows 10 and later and we have to ensure that the feature update default period should be 0 here it is showing that it is set for 365 days so i am going to change it to zero so to do this we have to go down and update the updating settings and set the feature update default period zero and then review and save it now we can create the feature update deployment policy so to do this we have to again go back to the 
feature update for Windows 10 and later. And then we have to create a profile. Here we have to provide the name of the feature update deployment policy. So I'm going to provide update to Windows 11 23 H2. And then in the description also, I'm going to provide the same information. And the feature update to deploy, we have to select the Windows 11 23 H2. And now we can see that the, we have a new option where if the device is not capable of running Windows 11, then we can allow Intune to install the latest Windows 10 feature update. So I am going to select this option and then we can select the rollout option. We have multiple options. I am okay with make update available as soon as possible. But as per your choice, you can select the second option, make update available on a specific date or make update available gradually. So for now, I am okay with make update available as soon as possible and then click on next. Now in the assignment, we have to select the group where we want to deploy this feature update policy. So I have already created a group called upgrade to Windows 11 23 H2. I am going to select this group and then click on select and then click next and then we have to review and create the feature update deployment policy. And now we can see that the Windows feature update policy is showing as successfully assigned. And now we can see that the feature update policy for Windows 11 23 H2 is created and assigned. Now we can verify whether the Windows 11 23 H2 policy is created in the Microsoft update service or not. So to check this, we have to go to the reports and under reports, we have to click on Windows updates. And then we have to click on reports and then we have to select the windows feature update reports and now under the feature update policy we have to click on select the feature update profile and we can see that the update to windows 11 23 h2 policy is created successfully and now we can select this and click on ok and we can generate a report and we can see that the there is no offer for any device available so we have to wait for some more time to see whether the or device offer is available or not. Now after some time we can see that the Microsoft update is offering the Windows 11 23 H2 for this device and the offer is also ready and the deployment status is also showing as a in progress. And we can also see that the device yet not scanned against the latest Windows 11 23 H2 feature update. Now I am going to log into this machine and trigger the check for update so that we can speed up the process. Now I am on my client machine and I am going to trigger the check for update to speed up the scanning process. And now we can see that the machine is started downloading the Windows 11 version 23 H2. Now we can see that the Windows 11 23 H2 update download has completed and it has started installing the feature update. Now we can see that the Windows 11 version 23 H2 feature update has been installed successfully and it is showing pending restart and user is now receiving the option to restart the device. User can select pick a time to schedule the restart or they can select the restart tonight or they can select the restart now option. So for now I am going to click on the restart now to restart the device.
now we can see that the windows 11 version 23 h2 has been installed successfully and we can verify this by running the winbar command so let me open the winbar command and we can see that the machine is on windows 11 23 h2 so that's all for this video and i will see you soon in my another video I hope this is an informative video for you. Thank you very much for watching this video.